Hey y'all, welcome to Creek Sign Cubing, and welcome for another cubicle unboxing. It's been a while since I've unboxed stuff from the cubicle, and I'm excited to do so again. They are always the most fun, usually. Well, eBay unboxings can be pretty fun too. Um, I'm having a hard time with getting this cut open today, but. Okay, the first thing I got here is a couple of cube bags. Again, cube bags. They're like pretty big. I think you could put a, a 5x5 in these, no problem. Really nice, velvety. I don't really buy cube bags much, but they were like really cheap, so I thought, hey, why not? This is actually a lot darker than I thought it would be. You can see it's a pretty dark blue. And I'm not complaining about that at all. That's pretty cool. Oh, and by the way, it says, Your Ultimate PB Renewer. So that's pretty special as well. I'm not sure why, but my camera settings like making my skin look very yellow. That's weird. Anyway, so that's the first thing. And of course, awesome business card as usual. So next out of the box, we have Kung Fu Cube, Kung Fu Long Yan. Okay, this is really interesting. I just saw like there's a whole bunch of Chinese and um, it says pop right in the middle. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So yeah, anyway. I can see that there's a, cu a cube stand included in this, so well, let's get the other stuff out of the package, shall we? Uh, just a GGD, that's kind of to resell. Let's set that aside. And I guess there's only one more thing in the box, and that is the Sheng Shao Mr. M. So if you've been watching, like, new releases on the cubicle, then you've heard about this. This is a mass-produced magnetic cube from Shengshao. And actually this is the first ever magnetic 3x3 that I'm putting my hands on, so that's going to be fascinating. So yeah, basically this is the stuff of the unboxing that really counts. Let's go ahead and get into this Kung Fu Long Yan first. Okay, that's a very interesting box. Um, anyway. Comes with a little pamphlet. It's a little bit different than other pamphlets I've seen. Don't really care a whole lot. Yeah, just a plain blue stand. And let's check this cube out. Got the Kung Fu logo there. Not sure which side is right side up, but I think maybe this one or this way. I don't know. Anyway, take a look at the shades. They're pretty cool. Let's do a checkerboard here. We have some really nice contrast. Okay, maybe red and orange are a little bit similar, like the orange is a little reddish and the red is a little pinkish, but yeah, not really a problem there. Yeah, anyway. Okay, the plastic feels really interesting. It's a little stiff right now and it feels dry. Or maybe it's just kind of like dried lube feel. I think that's maybe actually what it is. Like maybe it's mass produced a long time ago. Okay, that feels better than a lot of other budget cubes have helped. Hmm. Yeah, pretty cool. I would say this one's good enough for me to like spend time with and um, you know break it in, set it up, and 
and like give a review on it or something. I suppose it's been out for quite a while, but I don't really care. So anyway, I just thought it'd be cool to check it out. And it comes with its own stand, so that's a plus. Okay, so now I'm very curious about what a magnetic 3x3 feels like. And I know that this is mass produced, it's not like a cubicle cube or cosmic cube or anything like that. But um, I'm still eager to see how it feels. And I know it's budget too, but hey, whatever. First thing I notice is that it's kind of like the, the Shengshao gem, where the outside of the cube is sort of like, not really frosted, but textured or something. Like a lot of dimples and stuff. Yeah, let's get it out and take a look. Okay, definitely heavier. Definitely heavier than the Kung Fu cube. Looks like primary internals. So that's interesting. Okay. Oh wow. <laughs> that's really cool. So this is what it looks like when a cuber handles a magnetic cube or a magnetic 3x3 for the first time. I have a magnetic pyraminx, but I don't really solve pyraminx that much, so that is really cool. Okay, I can see myself getting used to that. Wow. The noise is a little annoying, but um, I suppose like maybe some other magnetic cubes aren't so really loud. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, it's like there, like there's resistance, but it doesn't really interfere that much, I guess. But it might be just this particular cube. But it is pretty noisy. <laughs> but that's really cool. Wow. I'm excited. Like, I haven't really been practicing speed cubing in the last while, but I think this is going to get me back into it. Um, it's not that I don't like cubing anymore, it's just that I've been really, really busy. But, yeah, this seems like pretty nice. Um, I know that Cyclone Boys recently released a magnetic budget 3x3, um, but like from what I heard it seemed to be pretty much a fail, but I'd say this is not a fail, it seems pretty nice. Of course, like, I don't really know my way around magnetic cubes, but like, from what I can tell it seems pretty cool, like maybe a little bit strong. Okay, <laughs> I'm just really fascinated. But anyway, that's the stuff I got. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch y'all later. Bye.